So with today's update, they have added shooting stars to old school RuneScape. They're calling it a distraction and diversion, similar to the Champions Cape and Clue Scrolls, known as Treasure Trails. So before starting this adventure, I made sure to build a study in my house, along with a mahogany telescope. You can search for the stars without the telescope but it's going to be a lot harder having the highest level telescope will give you a two minute window of when the shooting star is going to land so i highly suggest building one of those now it wouldn't be a jagex update if there weren't some problems in the first i'd say 30 minutes or so the telescopes weren't working correctly it would just say that you were staring at a wall but it didn't take long for them to fix that issue now, along with this content, there are going to be a couple of rewards. When you mine the shooting stars that fall from the sky, you will get stardust, and you can use this stardust to buy a new ring known as the Celestial Ring. It will give you a hidden mining boost of plus four when worn, and it also has a one in 10 chance to give you an extra ore while mining. But in order to get that, you do need to charge it with the stardust, and it can hold up to 10,000 charges. Each stardust equals one charge. Now besides that, you can also get star fragments for 3,000 each, and each of these star fragments can be used on your prospector outfit to change the color of it. And me personally, I'm probably not gonna grind it just because you need quite a bit of them to do it. And also the mining cape already matches the prospector outfit. So yeah, I think I'd rather just keep it that way. If you're not interested in any of those new rewards, you can just use it on a bag full of gems or soft clay packs that you can also get from Motherload Mine. Now the way this activity works is roughly every two hours a shooting star will land somewhere on this map. There are many different locations. There is a list on the blog and I'm sure the wiki will update it soon as well. So for instance, it'll say something like a star will land in Asgarnia in the next two to five minutes or two to four minutes however it depends what telescope you have um, but basically you can go there and check those like six different spawns i think for the most part every location has like six different spawns where it can be um, now this doesn't mean that they are close to each other some of them are still kind of far like mistelin you can either have the star land somewhere in Varrock or even in lumbridge like it did here in the swamp now once you find it, you can just start mining it and you'll get mining XP along with Stardust and it will break apart into smaller pieces as you mine it. Also, if you happen to be the first person to actually find the rock, your name will be written on a board in the observatory. I believe it lists the last five people who have found the shooting stars first. Now it is important to note that this activity is available in free to play, but since you don't have access to a player owned house and a telescope, it's going to be a lot more RNG based. I feel like those you can try to hunt for them, but you won't know when they're dropping. So most of the time, if you find one, it's just going to be by chance or along your travels. Now, the XP rates aren't too bad. I believe the tracker was saying something like 25K an hour. So if you wanted to hunt these all day and be super efficient, uh, you could get a nice amount of mining XP. It's also kind of AFK once you start mining it. And as this dies down, uh, once less people are doing this, I feel like you'll be able to stay here for a very long time and you'll also get a lot more stardust since you'll be possibly the only person mining it. But as of today, since it is release day, of course there are going to be a lot of people hunting for these shooting stars. As you can see here, this is a 2200 skill total world, but there are still quite a lot of people here. So overall, I'd say this update is pretty nice. It's nothing, you know, groundbreaking, but it is a nice little addition to the game. I'm pretty sure after some time there will be some clan chats that you can join that will shout out worlds of where it is or maybe not maybe they'll just keep all that info to themselves I'm not really sure also shout out to the guy who is still mining granite while there is a star not too far away i found that really funny and also shout out to the person who recognized me in game it's still a weird feeling uh logging in and being recognized uh it happens way more often than i would expect but uh yeah pretty cool also, it's worth mentioning that the Crystal Pickaxe does use charges every single time you get an XP drop here, so just keep that in mind. Not really sure if it's even worth using it here, kind of like with the Day Out Essence Mine, but um, yeah, I'll leave it up to you. Now, as for the rewards, you can receive them from a dwarf that is located above the Mining Guild if you just teleport to Falador or teleport to the Mining Guild and then take the stairs up or the ladder up, I mean, you can talk to the dwarf right here and exchange your stardust for the reward. 
So that's pretty much it for the shooting stars update. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.